tonight, Gulf Coast on alert for back-to-back -back strikes. Two powerful storms set to make landfall starting tomorrow. New Orleans in the crosshairs. Louisiana's governor requesting immediate federal help. These storms pose a challenge that, quite frankly, we've not seen before. Also, President Trump unveils a controversial virus breakthrough. Plus, Mr. Trump responds to secretly recorded audio tapes where his own sister appears to call him a liar. He has no principles, a none. And we'll look ahead to the Republican National Convention starting tomorrow. Plus, fire fury. California's wildfires reach historic scale. More than a million acres scorched. The state's historic redwoods threatened. And a troubling forecast that could make the situation worse. Course in consequence, parting students spread the virus, frustrating administrators and fueling campus anxiety. Belarus on the brink, protesters try to oust Europe's last dictator. CBS News is there. And later, a family reading project that puts a new twist on story time. We're interested in stories that connect kids to some sense of magic and wonder. This is the CBS Weekend News. Good evening. I'm Jamie Ucas in Los Angeles. Tonight, Hurricane Marco is barreling toward the Gulf Coast with Tropical Storm Laura not far behind. Marco is expected to make landfall tomorrow along Louisiana's coast as a Category 1 hurricane. Just days later and only miles away, Laura completes the one-two punch as an even stronger storm. Janet Chamulin is in New Orleans where the president approved an emergency declaration. Jamie, this is a dangerous and unprecedented situation for a wide swath of the Gulf Coast. And tonight, they are getting ready by ordering mandatory evacuations in some of the most vulnerable low-lying areas. In addition, oil producers are shutting down some offshore rigs. Crews are cleaning drains and pumping drainage canals. There's a run on supplies. And authorities like Louisiana's governor are issuing urgent warnings. These storms uh, pose a challenge that, quite frankly, we've not seen before. Two potential hurricanes in the middle of a pandemic, with some of the states hardest hit by COVID also in the path of these storms. People who evacuate to shelters will be required to social distance, have their temperatures taken, and wear masks. And as we report from New Orleans tonight, this week marks 15 years since the region was devastated by Hurricane Katrina. More than 1,200 people died in the storm. New Orleans was flooded when the levees here failed, and flooding is again a concern tonight, as Marco and Laura are expected to swamp this region throughout the week. Jamie? Janet, please stay safe. Thank you. Tonight, President Trump announced an emergency authorization of a controversial treatment for COVID-19. It comes on the eve of the Republican National Convention and new audio recordings of the president's sister sharing some candid thoughts about her brother. Paula Reed is at the White House. President Trump held a press conference to announce expedited efforts to approve a new blood plasma therapy to treat patients with COVID. This is a uh, powerful therapy that transfuses very, very strong antibodies from the blood of recovered patients to help treat patients battling a current infection. But the medical research is not clear on whether the plasma treatments are effective against the virus. On Saturday, the president accused FDA officials of slow rolling options to combat COVID in order to hurt his chances of getting reelected, tweeting, Obviously, they are hoping to delay the answer until after November 3rd. Chief of Staff Mark Meadows said the White House needed to apply pressure to federal health experts. I believe there are a number of people that uh, do not see the same sense of urgency as he sees. On Saturday, The Washington Post released audio recordings of the president's sister, Marianne Trump Barry, saying her brother cannot be trusted. It's mind boggling, but that's all about his base. All he wants to do is appeal to his base. He has no principles. I'm none. None. The recordings were reportedly made by the president's niece, Mary Trump. Her spokesperson said Mary began recording conversations in 2018 after concluding that her relatives had lied about the value of the family estate during a battle about her inheritance. 
So listen, this is politics as usual by, by uh, uh, a niece that uh, was written out of a will that would apparently uh, just has a, an ax to grind because she wants Joe Biden to be president. In an you interview with ABC News, Democratic presidential candidate. nominee Joe Biden Curious defended his mental that. fitness. Watch me, Mr. President, watch me. President Trump has repeatedly attacked Biden's acuity, even though the former vice president is just three years older. But uh, I just, only thing I can say to the American people, it's a legitimate question to ask anybody, watch me. Paula, the Republican National Convention kicks off tomorrow. A new CBS News poll finds Biden has a 10-point lead over President Trump when it comes to national preference. The Trump campaign sent out new details, though, today about this week's event. So can you lay out for us what we can expect? Well, Jamie, President Trump will be appearing every night of this convention. He will be speaking alongside First Lady Melania Trump, his four older children, and some of his closest allies, like Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, Ambassador Nikki Haley, and Secretary of State Mike Pompeo. Now, according to another CBS News poll, 73% of Republicans think the U.S. response to COVID is going well, while just 38% of all voters feel that way. And instead of seeing this election as a referendum on his handling of COVID, the president is instead pitching voters on two very different versions of America's future. We'll have to see how that goes over. Paula, thank you. CBS News will bring you live coverage of the Republican National Convention starting tomorrow night at 10 Eastern, 9 Central. Tonight, fire-weary California is expecting more dangerous weather that could spark new flames. The situation is already desperate. The second...